It's been a while since I've recorded in a utility room, but I'm having a bit of a frustration today because our house is, it's its weird. It's a, it's a big enough house to fit five of us in, but there's no private bit where I can sit and write and record and do stuff that isn't directly into someone else, like Claire watching the telly or the kids upstairs. So I've had a bit of a frustrating evening trying to figure out what I wanted to do and sit and do it, but then feeling like I'm just there in someone's, like, because I raised it, it's in my head now. Claire's there, she's watching telly. I can't talk freely without being heard. And I don't know why I'm worried about that. I need to get over it, I need to fix it. I don't know how people fix it, whether I should just get my camera out and just start recording in front of people willy-nilly. Um, I mean, Kev does it at events, but if I ever try and do it, I'm like, I'm just gonna go stand over in this corner over here and I go and hide away. When I did it on the community day with my friends, and Ollie, we just stood off by a, by a public toilet, basically, in a corner. There was no one sort of there. And we just went and stood in by the doorway and had a chat. Um, I, don't, I just don't know how to conquer it. It's just weird. And I think it probably isn't as bad in front of strangers. But doing it in front of Claire, I always worry for some reason that she's going to say, that wasn't quite right or that wasn't true. And, I'm, you know, I don't say anything that isn't true. Or at least I, if I'm saying I think that's the way it is and she might, you know, I'm worried that she'll go, oh, no, it was this. And then I feel like I have to re-record because I got it wrong or made a mistake. And it's weird. I don't really, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, to be honest, going behind the camera a little bit here, um, this is the the something like 12th attempt of me doing a video tonight. I've, it, like, it's the second, I basically finished recording a video and thought, that is terrible. It was just, it got to the point where I just went and yeah, um, and I thought, I don't know what's going on. And I, I know what was going on. A, recording out here, I'm boiling hot, but B, there seems to be some weird, I don't know. I wanna say it's like a bug in our house at the moment. Um, I don't think anyone's particularly unwell, but everyone's been acting odd. I mean, Ollie was getting really upset about things and acting off. I think it might be just end of holiday, end of school holidays blues or something. I don't know. But I don't know why that's affecting me because I'm obviously just off on the weekend. But um, poor old Ollie was getting frustrated that nobody liked him and everyone wanted to do the wrong thing or whatever he didn't want to do. And, you know, Emily was being bossy with him and not playing the games he wanted to play and it wasn't going the way he wanted it to go. And I'm saying, do you want to come play Pokemon Go with me? And he's like, no, no, I don't want to. And then we went and did, we, it was Clan Pearl Day yesterday, which meant they released a new Pokemon, basically. Um, and we went out, we were all excited, and I feel like the game kind of stitched us up a little bit. They didn't mean to, it was quite a nice surprise, but literally I drove around the corner and got a shiny one. And I was like, oh wow, I didn't know there was a shiny, and I sent it to my friends, a picture of it, showed him it. They were all like, wow, brilliant. He was furious that he hadn't got one. <laughs> I was just like, oh God. So the rest, of, we did it for three hours and he was pretty good most of the way around, but he just left his point about an hour and a half in where he just lost it and was like, I don't want to play this anymore. I hate this game. Why is it even on my phone? I'm going to, you know, I was like, delete it then. I'll take you home. You just have to play. It's fine. I just went with it. And he was like, no, 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 I want to play it. I want to play it. Um, he ended up getting two shinies, a little monkey. So he ended up with more than me. And then it had a, a completely randomised evolution. So if you press evolve, it either changes into one or the other. And there's no way to dictate what it does. Um, so he managed to get one of each shiny, which is very lucky. in a 50-50 coin toss to get it the way he needed it both times. Um, I only had one, so I just evolved it and that was job done. But the other, we had like 30 odd other ones. Um, so he was quite happy at that point. I dropped him off and he's very chuffed. He was just like delighted that we were... We'd done a day of Pokemon in and he'd got it out of his system and it was all good and very happy. Um, but then from that point, he seemed to just never know what he wanted to do. And I think no one in the house really did. Um, I wanted to just sit and write. Um, I came home Friday night, going back a little bit. I'd been driving along and suddenly in my head, I thought, you've got a problem with the, your, the start of your story. The plot doesn't quite work. There's no real justification for half the story. <laughs> and I was just like thinking to myself, there's a hole there. It's not a hole that's in a plot hole like you forgot something. It was like a you've not you've not added that extra thing that kind of makes it work. And um, I had this like five, ten minute bit on my journey home where I was just like, oh, no, it's all coming down. I'm like, I don't even know how far I am now. Um, I'm like eight chapters in and I think seven of those chapters have got three to four thousand words in them. So whatever that is. 25,000, I don't know, something like that. Um, it's quite a lot, you know, it's a reasonable amount of writing. Um, but I was driving along and I was panicking. I was thinking, what do I do? Oh, how do I do it? And then a song came on and I was singing along to it, trying to just get the problem out of my head. 
and it clicked and I was like, I know what I need to do. So Friday night I came rushing in and I was like, I know we normally eat dinner and everything, but I need to write. And I started, got my laptop out, started tapping away. And I was writing right up until the podcast at nine o'clock. Um, I think I remember telling Anna that I'd just finished solving a problem and she's like, all right, whatever. Um, so then because I got that flow going, for me, it was like, right, I'm going to do the Pokemon stuff on Saturday and then I'm going to write as much as I can. Um, Ollie and I come in, he was a bit like, um, I think Spurs played and lost straight away there. They were playing when I got back. So I tried writing for a bit, but I think I was so annoyed about Spurs losing and then Ollie was in a weird mood. So I was trying to get him to come out and do some Pokemon raids. So we ended up doing something like six Pokemon raids, which is ridiculous. I don't normally do that many. But again, I got a shiny and he didn't. So it was like, oh no. Like there needs to be a button I can press that says, oh, I've got one, please send him one now. Um, I need just some little thing. Cause I, I, I don't know how, I've tried telling him that that it's our account that I'm yes he has his own one for him to do whatever he wants on but mine's his and mine so we have shared success because mine has all of them on it I think there's only like eight I need so you know he's he's the one that's got all these little gaps I think he's about 10 behind me so he needs about 18 which isn't too bad really there's people out there with hundreds needed but he just gets so upset and I don't I don't want to just stop playing the game. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to lie to him either because he checks it. He knows. He looks at my Pokemon. He sees what I've got. And if I don't tell him now, I'm just kicking it down the line. So I was trying to be honest with him. Um, so I think the rest of the day we were just trying to get him to do stuff. We had a really nice afternoon Saturday, which we've never done before. Outside ours, there's like a row of benches that we thought was a bit of an odd decision. When we bought the house, we were told it was going to be a statue, and we thought oh, that'd be nice. Um, I thought that would be a poker stop. <clears throat> and um, when they got to it, they put a bench and a tree in. So <clears throat> we've never really felt the need to sit outside our own house before, because why would you? It doesn't really happen. We've got a garden for that. But um, the kids wanted to go out on their bikes and uh, roller skates. So we had a nice little we were racing around the corners. We were chasing Ben around. I was playing dodgeball with them. We were you know, juggling around all sorts of stuff. It was lovely. We were having lots of chasing after each other, then like, having a big family hug. And it was very sweet stuff. And I thought... It'd be nice to film stuff like this, but I was reminded by the whole blooming YouTube debacle that was going on. I'd said I'd said last video that Emily wanted to do some filming with me. She was going to film stuff. I was going to film stuff. I wasn't going to film like a family moment exactly, but we could have filmed some of the racing or something like that. We could have filmed a little bit, but um, it was all kind of killed by the fact that me doing a video with my kids on YouTube over this weekend would have been the most like oblivious thing to do it would have just been like oh yeah youtube go on block me block me because i think so far i've not been touched by any of that none of the uh demonetized I, I, my videos have very recently become monetized but i don't you know make anything out of it or anything like that it's um it's very very low level so that doesn't bother me that doesn't affect me but the comment thing would massively affect me i don't really want all my videos to be decommented because that's the bit that's the bit that i'm doing it for you lot telling me advice on things talking to me about stuff me being able to respond to your problems and stuff like that i really like that that's what i you know that's the the give and take i like the the giving part as much because that's 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 just the best thing about social media so i kept thinking to myself i don't want to just jump in and put a video out and then suddenly stick my neck across the guillotine and that's it all right youtube got me so that ended up playing on everything really i kept thinking like oh i could i could sit and do it like the kids today were just bored and i was like I, I went out i was trying to get ollie to come out and do some more raids and i, I was determined to get in this shiny and i think i ended up doing like eight which is ridiculous i don't normally do that many at all I ended up doing like eight raids so it's like four at a time and then i went and had lunch and i come out and did another four with my buddies to do it um I think we were all just in a particularly decent mood for doing it. And that was quite fun. We had a lot of jokes and stuff. Um, annoyingly, Claire pointed out I could have filmed a lot of that. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so I need to get better at thinking about when I'm going to do a video. But meanwhile, while I was doing that, poor old Ollie just wasn't in the mood for anything. He was having just an off day, which everyone has off days, but he wasn't up for very much. <clears throat> I think he's just started playing Let's Go on the Switch. I, I completed it with him as like my little sidekick. But he's I suggested to him whatever it was a couple of days ago why don't you start a game on it um thinking he'd struggle a bit because he can't read <clears throat> but he's on his way to the second gym now he's already beaten them he's got a lot of powerful pokemon and he's doing very well and he was so cute he was adorable and every time he caught something he'd be delighted he'd want to tell claire he'd want to show her and he's very into it i think he's been a bit of a uh you know mummy's been his favorite this weekend um he was trying to get her to go in the garden with him he's just been a bit i don't know sensitive bless him but he's getting upset because 
anything, anytime you want. Like we were saying, you've been on there for a couple of hours, come off it now. Like, he'd, he'd, not full on, but he'd stop for lunch. He'd have a little break every now and again. We're very keen to set these like little alarms, say, right, go to the toilet, do this, do that, have a break. But he'd been on it probably on and off for about, the, the switch had literally been on and on the side or whatever for about two hours, two and a half hours. And we're saying to him, come off it. And he was just like, oh, I don't want to come off it. And we said, go in the garden. And then I think that was probably our mistake because from that moment, it was like, Emily's being bossy. She doesn't listen to me. She never wants to do what I want. She never plays my games. And Emily was in the sort of mood of, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to come out. I don't want to go out. She said she wanted to go out front, went out front, came back in. There's nothing I want to do. And I think she was completely lost and so bored. She was too bored to do anything that would be fun. And... So then they were just getting at each other. So then that meant I think I, I didn't think it was bothering me, but I was trying to write because they were all off out doing their own things by that point, and I was trying to write again. And um, so I sat with Ben on my lap, tapping with my right hand for a bit, which is quite funny because he just wanted to sit. He didn't really want to do anything. Um, he's been a daddy's boy, funny enough. He wants cuddles all the time, which is really sweet. Um, he's still the only person in the family. I walk into a room and they all ignore me and he gets up, walks across with his arms open to give me a big cuddle. So um, he sat with me while I did some writing, which... By the way, it's a really odd feeling when you're writing something really graphic or a bit bad or a bit monstrous. You've got a baby on your arm. I was like sat there feeding him the other day whilst writing a death scene and just thought this is one of the weirdest moments of my life for a long while, really. I mean, I lead, lead, lead quite a weird weird life, but uh, that was an odd one. Um, what else was I going to say with that? I'm try so, yeah, they were running around just off on one, really getting at each other, really getting wound up. Ollie was stomping around, he went in the garden on his own, Emily went in the living room on his own, they just weren't getting on. And I said to Emily after a while, I was like, just compromise with him. Just say to him, I'll play what you want to play for 10 minutes and then you play what I want to play, okay? And I was like, I, was, I, know, I said, I know it's mean asking you to, you know, he's just as culpable, but you're the older one, just try it, see what happens. And she went out there, and bless her, I didn't tell her to do this, I was so proud of her. She went out into the garden and she said to him, We'll play your game but she said come here she gave him a hug and me and claire were just there like oh like in the living room in the in the kitchen looking out the window at them just like bless her and they had a little cuddle and then they played and they played and played and, played. and it was like i don't i don't i don't really know what their games are they all have these weird names one was called wolfie one was called which is a darts player in my mind but i think it was just uh what's the time mr wolf but they were laying down and they were walking around him in a circle and the wolf just jumped up and chased them after that. It was a complicated game. I don't know. Didn't really make any sense other than that to me. But they seemed to have all these rules that they were following. And then another game that had a weird name that I've forgotten. But they just went on and on like that for the next hour and a half. And I was like, that's amazing. They've just <laughs> all out of nowhere just clicked. Um, so now they're upstairs laying in bed because they're not in school tomorrow. Um, we realised it's teacher training day. Uh, it was funny because someone put in the Facebook group for our classes... Are you aware of school shut tomorrow? And pff, at least half the parents were like, what? No. Um, which is quite funny. So we were ahead of them. We'd already figured that out a couple of days ago. But um, so they're upstairs and we sat on YouTube watching that and chilling out. And I thought, oh, they're finally getting on. But then I realised after it all, getting them settled, I think I've lost it a bit. I feel a bit better now. I've done a video that I've deleted and started again. Um, but when I was sat in the living room, I was having a right little like, I can't record anywhere. I don't want to record in the kitchen. I need a space. I think part of me wants to empty the garage. The garage is literally behind me here. And it's nice and wide and a big old room. Um, but it's so full of stuff. I need to hire a skip and just empty it out. And then, I don't know, that'd be amazing. I feel like that's what that's what Kevin did. And it worked amazingly for him. And I feel like that's what I should do. But it's just, there's so much stuff in there. I don't. I just don't know how to really start. Um, what I need to do is push it all out into a big heap in the middle of our, where our nice sitting area is. Push it all out there, set it on fire, and then just sit on the bench and watch it burn. Um <laughs> that sounds darker than I meant it to. I was meant to be a nice, like, put some marshmallows on it. Maybe I need to stop writing these graphic stories. But, um, no. Do you know what? I feel really glad I've spoken now because 15 minutes of this and I feel a lot better. Um, I'll go back into the living room and Claire will be like, Rrr. but, um... I feel better and the kids are better. We're slowly working it out. I'm wondering whether we've all got some sort of slight mild bug that's made us feel a bit funny or if it's just being cooped up in a house for two days. But it has been nice. I did feel really good. It's been such nice weather. Driving around with my windows open in my car, catching Pokemon, just chilling, having a laugh with some mates. That It's weird. I've, like, don't When you think about it, I don't know them that well, but... We talk a lot on our little Facebook group and we go and catch a lot of Pokemon together. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice. I've, I've, had, I've had a decent weekend. I just, 
I think everyone's been a bit at sea, doing their own thing, getting a bit lost with it all. Um, but hopefully it'll be a good week ahead. Um, I think, just to get back to real life slightly, I think there's a meeting tomorrow or Tuesday about the whole behaviour panel thing at Ollie's school. Um, there's all sorts of stuff going on this week. So it probably will be quite a busy one for random titles about Ollie's diagnosis process. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some came up, but the last day of term was a good one so fingers crossed that'll be good i'm not gonna i'm gonna try and avoid doing the cliched try and have a really good week because it never works if i just send him in and see how he goes it might be better i'm just gonna try that anyway i'm gonna wrap up on that note i know this has been a bit of an all over the place different video but i hope that it was at least entertaining um i feel a lot better having recorded it so thank you for your time in that regard um yeah subscribe like comment all that stuff let me know if you can comment. If you can't comment, I'm on Twitter at RB6K. Follow me on there and say to me, I couldn't comment on the video. Uh, and we'll go fight YouTube together. Um, other than that, yeah, that's your lot. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.